This 225 ton oil drilling rig is the T500XD and it is doing something no commercial oil rig in the world has ever done before. It's walking. The new rig can move from drill hole to drill hole on its own, load pipes automatically, and can be operated by remote control. Instead of valves and dials, the control room has joysticks, making the rig's handling easier to master. It also needs fewer operators and is much safer and smaller than any conventional rig. As opposed to the, uh, some of the conventional rigs that still operate today with derrick men uh, 70 feet in the air, this machine has no, uh, nobody 70 feet in the air. In fact, the, the pipe handling is done from inside the cabin. SRAM's T500XD ships in roughly half the amount of loads of a conventional rig and can assemble itself, a feature that could allow it to be used in places where qualified laborers are in short supply. Another interesting feature is the machine's ability to communicate in case of technical issues. If an anomaly is detected by one of its 200 sensors, data is sent straight to SRAM's headquarters in Pennsylvania, where engineers devise a fix for the problem at hand. This particular example is headed for Australia, where it will allow its owners to save massively in rig moving costs. Until now, moving oil rigs has been complicated work, requiring trained workers to dismantle and reassemble the entire structure. It spent around a million dollars a rig move. So if you move a rig six times a year, it's six million dollars. But for a TXT, a T500XT, I, I think we would be spending less than a half a million dollars. So that, that's where we go. We say we cut, cut the cost by half. SRAM achieved international renown in 2010 when its drilling rig, nicknamed the Miracle, was the first to reach 33 Chilean copper miners trapped half a mile underground for more than two months. With its seemingly miraculous new product, SRAM is hoping to attract business from developing countries, where the prospect of lower costs and semi-autonomous operation is the most alluring. Simon Bouvier, CCTV.